It's Sunday, it's 10am, and it's finally time for the return of irate your teams without it being pre-recorded. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I am back. I'm back in the UK. I'm back off my holiday. I'm refreshed. I'm ready to grind some content, and I'm also 5 kilos lighter somehow. I don't know how that even happened, but uh, we're ready to do Iroh Teams. I'm excited to do it. I'm excited to jump into it. Uh, you guys have been leaving a lot of comments saying you're excited for the return uh, without the pre-recorded videos. Obviously, the last three were pre-recorded because I was on holiday, um, but now it's all real time. In terms of sending your teams in, I'm currently recording this at quarter past 11 on Saturday night. Obviously, I, I, I upload them on Wednesdays and Sundays. I typically record them on Saturday and Tuesday nights, so make sure you submit them then. Uh, make sure you submit HD screenshots of your teams, uh, just so it's easy for everyone to actually see the full team. And give me a description of your team. Uh, how much is your team worth in terms of... Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, how many coins have you got left, sorry? Who's tradable and who's untradable? Uh, and what do you play in game? So if you if you start in one formation and play something else in game, show me both screenshots so I can actually accurately depict the team a lot easier. Uh, and actually, before we get into this episode, uh, this is really quick, I do apologize. We actually have a, a brand sponsor for this episode. Um, they are always in my description section line of the descriptions it is actually uh the, the 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 jerseys that i'm wearing right now uh and i'll show you guys them now i'm not going to waste a lot of your time with this i know you guys didn't you know subscribe to the channel to watch these kind of videos but if you are interested in getting cheaper jerseys than paying because i know 90 pounds per like soccer jersey is expensive even i think it's expensive and and i typically am really bad with money uh but these guys the soccer us store actually provide really good high quality football shirts like this is all embroidery this is not like plastic it's all it's all like stitched on embroidered um they're very very high quality shirts uh, for literally a fraction of the price. Uh, sorry, I just hit the mic. Literally, these kind of shirts, they're like $20, $30. And you, you pay, you're paying 90 quid some places, maybe more for just a standard soccer shirt or football shirt. I don't know why I said soccer. I do apologize. In my opinion, it's stupid to pay those kind of prices for high quality stuff that feels exactly like the real thing. Um, now, a lot of you guys obviously don't want to have fake shirts. And I get that. They are, they're not real. They're replicas. But... I don't what well, I don't I personally don't see the value in spending a hundred plus pounds sometimes on a shirt just because it's real. In my opinion, save the money and just get yourself one that looks real and feels real but isn't actually real. It's up to you guys if you want to go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description as always. It's the second link of the description. Uh, and I apologize if you guys you know don't want to see this whole brand deal stuff. Uh, make sure you guys skip ahead a few seconds to see the I rate your teams. But uh, I appreciate the fact that you guys put me in the opportunity to actually do this. I would never promote rubbish. I wouldn't. Uh, it's not something I do. Like I genuinely believe that these are very, very nice quality shirts. They feel good. Uh, they feel good to wear. I wear them myself. I wear them in videos. I wear them out and about. Um, so yeah, make sure you check them out if you want to. Uh, and obviously, I must disclose, they are paying me to say this as well. I'm not doing this for free, but I would promote them. Anyway, they're, they're just nice. I think they're pretty cool. So make sure you check them out. Is back to the irate your teams. Like I said, I do apologize for uh, for doing a brand deal like that. I know a lot of you guys don't want to see that sort of stuff, but um, you know, it's sometimes it's hard out here on YouTube to make a living. So it's nice to be able to be put in a position like that to be able to take sponsored opportunities like that. So I'm very grateful for that. Anyway, the first one comes from Um, and he's literally just sent me his team with nothing else about it. I have no idea anything about this guy's team. Uh, if I was to take a guess. How much do I think you've got? I reckon you've got about 50k. And what would I do, say, with a 50k upgrade? I would personally look to get Rusi on at left back. Uh, that gives you full chemistry on Hernandez. Uh, I'd also possibly look for a different right mid as opposed to uh, Fekir. You've got Usmani Dembele on the bench. You could use Usmani Dembele there instead. Uh, I don't know what you play in game. If you play this in game, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I feel like Usmani would get full chemistry. Obviously, Toko is not getting full chemistry, but Usmani would. Um, and I think that, you know, little upgrades here and there to upgrade chemistry are probably the best shout. Now, a lot of you guys say that I call this I rate your teams, but don't actually give teams a rating. So I'm going to start doing that. Let me know down below if you want to see more of me actually rating teams. Uh, so if I was to give this team, I give this team a solid six. I think you've got too many plays off chemistry. Um, your strike force, Jamie Vardy's decent. I don't know about him, uh, Token Bayer. I've never actually used him. Um, but he doesn't look like he fits the meta of the game. And to be honest, Vardy, three-star skills can be a little bit disappointing. Sometimes doesn't actually make great finishes as well for me. Uh, so I'll give it a solid six out of ten. You've got a decent back line. The next one's from Oli. I've got 42,000 coins and I don't mind saving coins. Uh, Benzema, Silver, Keen, PK are all untradeable. All of the bench are untradeable. Promes, Kante, and Firmino are in loan. Uh, I'm thinking of getting storyline Gelson Martins. Okay. 
by Gelson. Okay, I see, I see where you'd fit him in, definitely. Uh, what would I do with your team? Um, it's a nice team. I actually like the way you've built it. Um, in terms of actual upgrades, obviously, you're not quite at a point where I can say, oh, buy this guy because he's going to be an upgrade. Uh, a lot of you guys get angry when I say, oh, get Ferla Mendy or get Nelson Semedo, etc., etc. But when you guys send me teams with 40,000 coins, when your team is worth literally over a million coins, it's like... You can't really upgrade someone with 40,000 coins. What what I'd say, I would go with Gelson Martinez as, as the storyline player, and then I would work towards upgrading that eventually to a Leo Messi, someone like that. That is a long time in the future. I totally understand that. But uh, I feel like that is the end goal for you, is getting like a Leo Messi at right mid. Um, for the meantime, you could go with uh, Usmane Dembele. I do prefer him over Bernardo Silva this year. Uh, more pace, better skill moves, better uh, weak foot, uh, good dribbling, uh, great shooting as well. Feels like a really good player in game. You could get him, you get full chemistry on the squad, uh, and it'd work really well if you don't mind getting rid of Bernardo Silva, that is. But um, but apart from that, I'd say, yeah, just save up. Save up for maybe a Leo Messi. Save up for a Varane. You know, you want to go with upgrades that are going to fit the Metro this year. Um, you know, Jordi Alba's a great left back. There's probably no one you can upgrade to that's better than him, really. Uh, I, I do like Ferland Mendy this year. You guys know I love Ferland Mendy, but I wouldn't say he's an upgrade on Jordi Alba, personally. But that's the way I feel about this squad. Uh, in terms of a rating, I give this squad a 7. Um, I think that you've got, you know, Hazard, great. Benzema, good goal scorer in terms of, like, you know, he's going to be a good poacher. Uh, he's going to have a good shot. But in terms of the actual fit in the meta of the game, he's not agile. He's not very quick. Uh, so he's probably going to sit up top and probably be a, a target man for you. Griezmann's decent, but again, he's not that quick this year. He's only got, like, 81, 82 pace. Um, he's got fantastic dribbling. He's got a great left foot. Uh, he's pretty solid. Your midfield is decent as well. I do like your midfield, to be fair. Uh, and your back line, I think, could be improved by a Rafael Varane. Um, so yeah, I'd say seven, maybe seven and a half if you're feeling generous. Uh, and then, yeah, just make the upgrades I'd, I've said. Uh, possibly look towards getting like a better striker as well. Uh, I think in the future, EA yeah, are going to release some decent player moments, SBCs. They could get a striker as well. Um, but no, I think the Benzema is a good shout to complete because he's only 70,000 coins and it gives you an 89 rated card for an SBC too, if you really want it. So yeah, pretty decent. Uh, moving on now, we have got uh, Ignacio Vigil uh, Cardinals team. He says, I play with a second image. I have 500,000 coins and untradables are Vardy and all the bench except Bale. Keep with the good work. Watching from Spain. Hey, appreciate the support, man. Spain, that's crazy. Okay. Let me see what you're playing in the game. So you're playing two solid box-to-boxes as your CDMs. You do make a substitute though, don't you? Who do you sub off? You sub off Endon Bele. Can you get somebody for 500k that you can play camp? I would say get De Bruyne. I think De Bruyne would be a better cam than Felipe Anderson. You're not subbing anyone off. You've got, you save yourself a sub. Felipe Anderson is going to be great late on in the game. Uh, so I'd say go with that. And after last week's episode, you guys rave about Laporte. I'm going to stop telling you guys to sub uh, to get rid of Laporte because you guys say Laporte is fantastic. So fair play. I understand. I read all the comments. Laporte, I will no longer uh, hate on. And uh, you guys keep him. Uh, how much is De Bruyne though? I would love to see how much De Bruyne is. Um... Let me have a quick look for De Bruyne. If he's not too much, I think he's about 200, 220. So you got about 280 left. I would also say get a Bamiang at striker. I really like a Bamiang this year. I think he's fantastic. Um, and then possibly replace Cancelo with Kyle Walker. It depends. I know Cancelo's got four-star skills. Some people prefer that. I prefer the, the sheer brutality of Walker. I think he's a little bit better. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, aside from that, I think your team is solid. And then... You know, your next upgrades, of course, are going to be the likes of Kante for Sissoko, uh, possibly a high version of Fabinho for Wijnaldum, um, Van Dijk eventually for one of your centre-backs. But in terms of the team, I give it a solid 7.5 as well. 7.5, 8. You've got really good players in terms of like Salah, Zane. Uh, you've got a good back line as well. Uh, I think you just need to do a solid few upgrades and uh, subbing someone off gives it a few down marks as well. Uh, the next one's going to be from Ewan, who says, I'm about to buy this team once my old team sells. Uh, 100,000 coins for upgrades. De Bruyne, De Bruyne, Frankie, and Butcher are untradeable. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Hey, I've got an untradeable Butcher as well. He's, he's absolutely amazing this year. So you're going to start like this and then go to this in-game. I love how you're utilizing the right wing uh, nine Golans and making CDM. I don't know if he's a He's not a fantastic CDM, though. And the thing I think about nine Golan, let me, uh, I'll, I'll talk you through my uh, my reasoning for this. So this is his SIF, actually. This is his inform. 
Uh, with nine golden, the reason why I don't think he's a fantastic CDM, the high, high work rates let him down as a CDM. Uh, you guys can definitely see that. Um, he's quite aggressive going forward. And I think that as a CDM, you want him to sort of sit back. Now with custom tactics and with instructions, you can make him a little bit more defensive, but ultimately he's always going to get up the pitch a little bit more. Uh, I would personally say, as opposed to having him CDM, I would personally go with probably... It's difficult because obviously you got, you're getting the full chemistry over here. Um... What could you do here to get full chemistry that would work? Uh, a tough one. Obviously, the first thing I'm thinking is icon, but you can't get an icon. Uh, you could go with somebody like you got to get with a uh, go with a French player, really. Um, from the Prem, that gets a link. You could play someone like Sizoko off chemistry. I think Sizoko also has five, uh, high high work rates, but for some reason it doesn't feel like he does. I don't know why. Um, you could go with someone like, you could save up and get like a Kante, but obviously he's not going to be playing on chemistry initially. Um, so that's not going to be that helpful, unfortunately. I'm looking because obviously you want to keep Longley on chemistry. Um, is it possible to switch over Ramos and Longley and get a different centre-back? Get, get Laporte over Ramos and then get like, um, like a Sissoko? Is your CDM or just get any Prem CDM like a Fabinho maybe? Is that a possibility? If you swip, uh, swap over Long Lane and Ramos and then you can play um, instead of having, I know Frankie de Jong's really good, but you can have like Fabinho CDM and then uh, Nine Golan's right centre mid. I think that'd work a little bit better. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. In terms of the team though, I'll give this a solid eight. I think that's a, a really nice team. You've got great picks. You've got really nice and tradables as well. I like that. Uh, moving downwards now, we've got uh, TM Mosi. Hi, I have 10,000 coins to spend. Any improvements? Everybody is tradable apart from the bench and Vardy. Improvements for 10k. I like the team layout, to be honest. I don't see an improvement you can make for 10k. Um, realistically, obviously selling someone and then buying, buying another player in. Um, you, could, you could sell Lindelof and get Davinson Sanchez. I'd say that's probably a good shout. Davinson's about 7, 8k now. Maybe a little bit more due with SBC inflation. Uh, but I'd say... I'd say Davinson Sanchez would be a good shout to get. I think he's one of the only upgrades you can make realistically in this team. Or get like a Kepa in goal. Kepa is good this year. Uh, aside from that, in terms of like a cheap, a cheaper team, I would give this team a solid seven. I think I think for a cheaper team, the way it's built, you've got Torreira and Sissoko are very, very good box-to-box -box midfielders. You've got Lucas is fantastic cam or striker. Vardy's decent. He's not amazing, but he's decent. Uh, you've got Philippe Henderson's great. Pepe's all right. Pepe's shot lets him down a lot, but your backline's pretty solid as well. Um, next one is going to be from Jamie. He says, got 200,000 coins at the minute. Who's the next upgrade? Who is your next upgrade? I mean, what do you play in game? I'm guessing you play like a 4 2 3 1. Um, I suppose your next upgrade is probably going to be getting the likes of, of Van Dijk at right centre back and Allison in goal, I guess. Obviously, that's going to be quite far in the future. Uh, you could you could replace Taliso with a better French midfielder, maybe like a Pogba, something like that. But apart from that, I don't really see your next upgrade being uh, very close, to be honest. Yeah, I think your next, I think what you work towards next is probably going with VVD and, and Allison. How much is VVD this year, the, these days? How much are you, sir? Still about 600k. Yeah, it's probably the next upgrade for you, to be honest, mate. Uh, next one coming from Billy. Hi, Haber. Uh, Nine Golan, Politano, Gerard, Shevchenko, Marnie, Oxley, Chamberlain to Stegen, and the whole bench are untradeable. I've got 1.4 million to spend. Was wondering wondering where I could upgrade. Thanks very much. Loving the vids. Hey, appreciate the support, man. Legend. I like what you've done here. Have you, do you have Screen PK on the bench? Oh, screen PK would have been perfect. If you did done that, that'd have been amazing. Where's your next upgrade? 1.4 mil. Leo Messi. There, right there. 100%. You get Leo Messi, this team goes from 8 to a 10. 100%. Um, no, I'd, I'd say I'd rate this team an eight. Uh, and I'd say Leo Messi makes it a 9.5. And I think then you're just looking to upgrade Shevchenko and, and Gerard probably. Um, sick red card up there. You've got nice reds on the bench as well. I like that. You've got a fantastic defense. Um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say Leo Messi, to be honest, mate. Leo Messi would be a fantastic shout into this team. Uh, especially right cam cutting in, he'd be fantastic on his left. Uh, the next one is from David. I have 20,000 coins. Untradables are on my bench. SBC objective cards. Kante, Edison, Nesta. Uh, okay, so you start You start as a 4-5-1. I like how you've, you've utilized that Tagliafico. That's sick. I would love to know how that card plays in game. Please let me know in the comments down below how that card plays in game. Uh, what would I do with this team? It's a good question, actually. Uh, I think... How many coins do you say you had? You have 20,000 coins. Your next upgrade is going to come in the likes of, or sorry, in the form of uh, a long lay or uh, 
uh, Laporte um, or maybe like a Varane or something like that, depending on how lucky you get in like rewards or something. Uh, but definitely going to be upgrading that Eder Militao to a better centre-back. Uh, and then probably also, oops, I've just clicked on the wrong team. I do apologise. And then probably also upgrading that Benzema eventually to like a Griezmann. Griezmann's a way better cam. He's he's all right. His striker, not fantastic at striker. He's a bit too slow for striker. As a cam though, he's solid because I don't feel cams need that much pace this year. Uh, just in my opinion anyway, but I'd say, yeah, I'd say Griezmann and I'd say, uh, Longley or whoever you can get there. That's going to be the first person you can get really. Um, and then I think your team is solid. I say it's a, a solid seven now. I say it goes up to an eight when you do those upgrades though. Definitely. Uh, the next one coming in from Blake who says, uh, Samedo Usmane, uh, or Usman. I think everyone's saying his name's Usman. So I do apologize if I'm saying that wrong. And the whole bench is untradeable. 30,000 coins. Have loan VVD and untradeable or sitch on the bench. Okay. Um, all right, let's have a look then. Let's have a look. Oh, you play a three back. Interesting. Okay. How's Robertson at CDM? That's, that's actually really interesting. I've not seen someone do that before. What would I do with this team? Uh, you said you've only got like 30 odd K. Uh, I'd say just work towards upgrading Vardy. Obviously, you can't do it now, but in the near future, you possibly could. Um, you know, uh, the likes of Aubameyang is fantastic this year. It, it's weird because the strikers in the Prem go from like moderate, like... Like Lacazette's, Vardy's, 20-ish K players, then jump straight up to like Aguero's, Aubameyang, Son's, people like that. Uh, depending on how lucky you get, you could go for the long-winded option and go with Hyungmin Son, or you could go with a short-winded option and go with uh, like a, an Aubameyang. Uh, it's easy to make coins this year. And if you moan about making coins this year, you're just not very smart of the game. I do apologize. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but it's true. Um, it's very easy to make coins this year, and you can easily get up to 100K with playing one weekend league and one set of rivals, to be honest, like quite easily. So I'd say go with one of those two at striker, and then I think your team is looking solid. I'd say it's a three back, so it's interesting. I'd say I'd give it a seven and a half. A, excuse me, a seven and a half. I've just realized you got King on the bench. Get King over Vardy. King's way better than Vardy. King. Yeah, go with Josh King up top. Way better than Vardy, in my opinion. In, in my opinion, obviously, maybe your opinion differs from that. But yeah, I'd say it's a solid seven, seven and a half, maybe, uh, at a push. Next one coming from Lucas who says uh, everyone is tradable except the SBC cards. Zoko and Mahrez on the entire bench, and I only have 10,000 coins. What should I work towards? If you're reading this, your videos are amazing. Congrats on getting Team of the Group stage. Messi, thank you very much, Lucas. I really appreciate it. If you guys haven't seen that already, make sure you check out the uh, last video where I packed Team of the Group stage Messi in a 125k pack. Uh, let's check out Lucas's squad then. So you haven't got any coins at the moment. What are you looking to work towards? I would, I would say a smart choice for you if older viewer is, is tradable, um, everyone is tradable except the SPC card, Suzuka and Mares. Okay. I would sell older V-Road and I'd sell Courtois and I'd get rid of Digne as well. What I would do is get Roussillon as your left back. I would go with Lloris in goal. And if you can afford it, Davinson. No, I wouldn't go with Davinson. I'd go with... Hmm, yeah, I'd go with Lloris in goal and I'd go with probably Laporte right centre back. If you can afford that, that is. Um, I would say it's probably looking at similar prices for all three of these cards compared to the three i've just mentioned so you probably will be able to afford it and i'd say it gives you get full chemistry i'm going to give you team a six and a half because i don't think that you've got the fundamentals for a team i think that you know you've got a fantastic left center back uh Sizoko's meta Toliso looks good marshall's good mares looks all right i mean looks fantastic for someone that doesn't run around but i think he hasn't got enough pace uh, and his, his stamina is not amazing uh, but if you're using him as like a cam, he's probably going to be pretty decent to be fair. Uh, I just think you've got a few little places to upgrade and then your team is going to be a lot more stable in my opinion. Uh, but it's looking solid though. Uh, okay. The next one is from this dude self-promoting. What are you doing? Self-promoting. Get away. Get away. You're not paying for this. now. I will rate your team, but please, please don't self-promote on these videos. We don't want it to become a fest of people just trying to get in so they can self-promote. Um, it says getting this team after my old one sells Guardiola and icon swaps 50k for improvements love the content keep with the great work well, I appreciate it man but please all right at least you're at least you promote me on your team right that's fair enough um, please if you're if you're not actually looking for genuine advice please don't submit your team just to try and like self promote for example I get it. It's, it you know people are hustling out here I understand I, it's quite funny to be fair but there are people that genuinely really want help with their squads that want to be on these videos and sometimes they get drowned out by people that you know maybe don't need help with their squads and they want to they want to just you know self-promote really what to do with your team is a good question though I would say um who can you get that's English as a centre-back that's better than John Stones that's a good question it's a, it's a tough one to be fair um 
There isn't many, is there? I'm trying to think of an, a centre back you can get. Maybe I'm being silly and I can't just I can't picture one in my head, but I don't know who you could get. That's better to be honest. I hope to see where you can upgrade. Let please help this guy out in the comments down below because I'm I'm a little bit lost. I give you team a six. I don't think you've got the right attack, but with the amount of coins you've got, I don't see where you can change it really. It's a t it's a tough one. Uh, maybe my mind's gone blank. I don't know. Um, James's team now. Can you rate my squad? Uh, Kante, Dele, and Fabinho are tradable. I have sixty thousand coins. Wow, you got Red Van Dyke. Fair play. Red Van Dyke is absolutely phenomenal. That is a fair play. Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna sneeze as well. Give me one second. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, I sneezed off camera. Uh, what would I do with your team? I would say upgrade Tammy Abraham to a better striker. Uh, Rashford for the five-star skills is a good shout. Lucas Moore is a good shout for the dribbling. Um, who else is a good shout? Uh, th those two are great options. You've got King on the bench. He could be a good striker as well. But I really like your team. I love the fact that you've got that Trossard. I love the fact you've got Red Van Dyke. That is fantastic. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Uh, you've always got that Zaha. You work really hard in this game, I can tell. Uh, so I'm happy that you've got a sick red. And uh, I, yeah, I'd, I'd just say maybe... Put King up top or get Rashford or, or Lucas Moore or someone like that. Apart from that, I think your team is, is really, really good. I'm going to give this team an eight because I just I like it. I just think it looks really cool. Um, I'd say probably this is going to be the last one from Amaro for this episode. Make sure Tuesday you submit you guys as teams for the next one. Uh, it says, hi, no money. Uh, Vass, Royce, and Militao are tradable. Love your vids. Keep the good way. Thank you, Amaro. I appreciate that, man. What do I do with this team? Um, what do I think you need to do? I think you work towards getting a better left side. Uh, you know, obviously, obvious choice is obviously Hazard. You could go a different route. You could get uh, Griezmann up top and go with like someone better on the left side, or you could go with informed Griezmann at left side and go and keep Benzema up top. Something like, something like those along those lines. I can't even speak. Um, so I'd say your left side is definitely where you need to improve. Um, but I like the Dutch, I like the Danish link, sorry, not Dutch, I like the Danish link, sometimes I make mistakes, alright, when I called Varane a Dutch walkout, I didn't mean it, alright, I, I made a mistake, okay, uh, no, but I'd say, uh, I'd say the Danish, uh, link is pretty solid, um, make Royce the striker, okay, I see that he's on a red, alright, please, uh, apart from that, no, I think your team's sick, mate, I give this team a solid seven and a half, uh, tens are gonna be difficult, you're going to have to work hard to get a 10 from me, all right? You're going to have to work hard, but no. I uh, appreciate you all watching the episode. appreciate you all, uh, you know, subscribing. I appreciate you all uh, supporting the channel. You guys are fantastic. Uh, big win for United uh, yesterday. Very happy with that. Um, you know, it was a, it was a tough game, uh, especially towards the end. We played really well in attack, I feel like, and I was very happy to get the win. Um, and no, I'm, I'm just very grateful for all the support you guys have shown in the channel. Uh, make sure you check out me packing team. The group stays messy. That's why he's in the thumbnail for this episode. If you guys don't know, it's because I packed him yesterday. So make sure you check him out. Uh, and thank you all for the uh, epic support. And I'll, uh, I'll see you later.